Tomorrow marks three years since the attack at the Tree of Life Synagogue in Squirrel Hill. It's a day Pittsburgh will never forget. And today, the American Jewish Committee, the leading global Jewish advocacy organization, released its third annual report on the state of anti-Semitism. I talked to the director earlier today about the new data. Thank you so much, Holly, for joining me tonight to talk about the survey findings. And I wanted to start off by asking if you could give us just a brief background on why and when the American Jewish Committee first started collecting this important data. So the American Jewish Committee, AJC, started collecting this data in 2019. Uh, really one year after uh, the horrific attack at the Tree of Life Synagogue in, in Pittsburgh, when we realized that we really didn't have comprehensive data on how American Jews feel about anti-Semitism, their perceptions of it, uh, what they think the state of anti-Semitism in America is like. And that was really our starting point. This is our third year in a row uh, releasing this report, uh, and the release coincides with the anniversary. What, in your opinion, is the largest takeaway from the survey findings for this year? similar to last year, but also different. Uh, we found that uh, anti-Semitism remains a problem in the United States and the general public is, is not aware uh, to the extent that American Jews are of really what's happening. But the big takeaway is really two parts. Uh, the first is we found that one in four American Jews have personally been targeted by anti-Semitism in the past 12 months. Uh, this was a different time frame that we asked this year. Uh, in addition, we found that four in 10 American Jews have altered their behavior in some way, either not posting something online, not going to a Jewish institution or event, uh, hiding an aspect of their identity with maybe not wearing a kippah or not wearing a Star of David necklace, for instance, uh, out of concerns for anti-Semitism. Uh, that was a really big finding and, and an unfortunate one. How do you hope that this data will shape perception by the American public and, and specifically people who are not Jewish? So we found that uh, the, the, the number of Americans who were aware that anti-Semitism was increasing was about half the number compared to American American Jews. 82% 80, of American Jews said that it had increased in the past five years, 44% of the general public uh, said that it had. So really the, the first step is, is raising that awareness uh, recognizing that anti-Semitism is not a Jewish problem. It's a societal problem. It's a reflection on, on us, our society, our democracy. Are we accepting of others, uh, fighting discrimination of all, of all people? Um, so that's really the, the starting point. Um, but one improvement, one good thing that has come from, from this study this year, we asked if Americans were familiar with the term anti-Semitism. We've noticed an improvement. Last year, almost half, 46% of US adults weren't aware of the term. That number has dropped to 34% of Americans not familiar with the term. Now, one in three is still too many who don't know the word anti-Semitism, but we are seeing a little bit uh, of awareness uh, in that regard. Yeah, because I remember last year, that was the biggest takeaway was the shock of how many people were still unaware of the term. Why do you think it's so important for this data to come out around this time, specifically, you know, in the day before, days before the three-year commemoration for the Tree of Life synagogue shooting, which is top of mind for everyone in the Pittsburgh area right now? We want to make it top of mind, you know, for everyone. Again, I think, you know, after what happened in Pittsburgh, it there was a, a, a American response. Um, Non-Jews, people from all over the world, offered support to the Pittsburgh Jewish community. They showed up for Shabbat. You know, they they participated in, in Jewish life and in coming together. I think as time passes, there can be an easy an, an easiness for for that memory to, to fade away, for it not to be top of mind anymore, for you know not to remember the the, the still facing discrimination of the Jewish community. They're still going through uh, the repercussions of, of that and, and other incidents that have happened since. And it really does serve as a reminder that we can't forget what just happened and we need to do, do better.